much can you say I can survive on in a month comfortably? Depending on where you are staying. Yeah. For example, if you are staying in Lukatu, in Katutura, mm -hmm. you might survive with your 1,000. Today, we embark on a mission to show you the true cost of living in Windhoek, Namibia. I will be visiting a friend who has lived here all her life and we will be able to break down all things to do with the cost of living in relation to accommodation, food, transport, internet and everything in between that you might need to know about living in Windhoek, Namibia. Let's begin by agreeing that the cost of living in a country is greatly influenced by one's income and their expense ratio, thus forming the high, middle and low standards of living. But worry not, we will standardize this by sharing the cost of living of a comfortable, self-employed local here in Windhoek, Namibia. Hi guys, meet Kimi, who is a local here in Namibia. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Kimi from Namibia. Uh, I'm Oshuwampo speaking. I'm from Ohangwena region, Ekonyama girl. <laughs> Yeah, that's like, how are you guys? <laughs> oh, nice, amazing. So today we are here to learn about the cost of living here in Namibia from a local so we can have a better understanding, more than what I could give you because I've not lived here for such a very long time to have specific details. All transactions in Namibia are done in Namibian dollars or South African rands. But in this video, I'm going to be talking in dollars so we can be on a neutral ground. Also, the conversion rate of Namibian dollar to US dollar as of the filming of this video is 1 US dollar is equivalent to 15 Namibian dollars. Accommodation is the most expensive part of living in Namibia from apartment and hostel as well. You can pay up to $806 all the way to $1,300 for an apartment of two bedrooms to three bedrooms with two bathrooms. There is actually an ongoing debate on why apartments and accommodation in Namibia is on the rise and the demand for it continues to be high. I got a chance to see a house that was on sale and it was going for 320000 USD for a two bedroom. And if you opt for a two bed, it was 64,000 USD. In this case, you will find most experts, most high paid employees and business owners are living close to the capital city center of Windhoek. Others who are like mid and below average, they are living in the suburbs of the capital city, be it in Katutura and other areas. When we talk about myself and my friend when we used to rent a flat. Mm -hmm. We were renting a flat, it was an inside flat, yeah. a back flat flat and that was just our two bedrooms mm -hmm. my bedroom and yes. her bedroom and we were sharing the bathroom and like a small it, it was a tiny kitchen just a few cupboards here and there yeah. and um yeah and the bathroom it was just uh, this tiny you can't even put your washing machine because it was this tiny but we were it was enough for us but we were paying six thousand per month oh so yeah. rent six thousand yeah. when it comes to transport this was my most fascinating aspect of windhoek namibia there are three forms of moving from one place to another at least talking about public transport for those who barely have a car one you can use the municipality bus which moves at specific time and it's actually the cheapest to move around the other option is using a mini bus which actually goes for ten dollars slightly cheaper and more pricey compared to the third which is a taxi that i used all the time so the taxi is more easy to use and it goes for a distance of as long as it's close to the capital city for 12 namibian dollars and it's easy it picks you up from any destination and takes you to your place of accommodation or to your place of running your errand perfect to move around the city but i have to say public transportation in windhoek namibia is almost non-existent because majority of people prefer to buy their own cars and take themselves around the country if you compare to other places the public transport here is totally different compared to other countries now that you're taking a cab how much would you say in a month you needed so that you can use Depending a Depending how, how much active you, you are. Or how active you are. Yeah. As for me, I don't stay in the house. So every Two minutes I'm here, <laughs> two minutes I'm here. Yeah. From Mall, Town, Benil, yeah. Kapana, wherever, wherever, wherever. Mm -hmm. So per day, I, I know per day I need I needed a hundred dollar every day. Oh, that's another yeah, three thousand. To, to get out of the house and come back. And that's just for my transport, not yeah. to 
eat Buy anywhere. Buy this, this and that. Yeah. No. Because I, I can never go to one place. So mm. every time you, I needed a hundred dollar or even more. When it comes to food, definitely eating out is more pricey compared to cooking your own food. But there are many stalls and malls, places to buy affordable and good food that you will enjoy. I actually did a whole video showing you a tour in the market so you can see the cost of prices of things specifically that you can buy and eat, which you should check it out in the description box. Food, uh, we, uh, especially for me, yeah. I was a gym person, so I had a specific diet, and it, I, I was trying to gain. I was so tiny. Oh, okay, the opposite <laughs> yeah, of many yeah. people. So I had a special diet, yeah. and my food was a bit expensive, so that's why I can oh. say my life was a bit expensive. expensive. Now I'm, a, um, I gained. I stopped going to the gym, yeah. but I will start later on. Yeah. But you need money. You need money. <laughs> you need to provide for yourself yeah. because you can never survive yeah. the life you want mm -hmm. without money. Without money, or it, uh, when you depend on somebody, yeah, true, you true, need true. to start providing for, for yourself. yourself. Yeah. Then you can uh, decide today I want to go anywhere. And you don't have to bother anyone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, what is the cost of uh, internet? Well, for us, we had internet uh, where we were staying, but it was not really reliable. Yeah. So that came with the price of the house. Yeah, it okay. was included in yeah. the six thousand we were paying. Yeah. But it wasn't reliable, mm -hmm. and uh, both of us were we are into business, so mm -hmm. we, we needed we, internet. We, yeah, we needed internet, and we 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 were not really making use of the one we had uh, in, the, the, in the flat. Yeah. We we will just make use of our data. So super data away bundle. or something? Super away. And for me, I use um, I use um, 100 and close to 200 per week because yeah. I need uh, two times or three times a week. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So 200 a week times four. So that's 1,200 on the internet. Girl, you're a rich lady. <laughs> <laughs> not really, not really, but... <laughs> Life is forcing me, and, yeah, uh, and yeah. I'm a princess. Oh, I need to give my life the life Amazing. I deserve. Amazing. <laughs> That is good too. Yeah, you are a princess. But it's good to give yourself the life you deserve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you're if you providing can. yourself the life you deserve, yeah. then it's okay. Yeah. I only get uh, better when you want a uh, good life, yet you are failing to provide it for yourself mm -hmm. and you want somebody to do it for you. I'm like, girl, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Well, if, if you're saying the cost of living in Namibia, yeah. not just in Vintuk or, or in the north, uh -huh. so I would do like why this. Is the, why is it like cheaper to survive? In the north. In oh, the, in north, the north, north, of course, because in the yeah. north, everything you do there is like free. Oh, you really? You go to the toilet for free. <laughs> <laughs> you brush your teeth for free. I had not thought of the toilet. <laughs> you brush your... You brush your teeth for free, so that means yeah. Yeah, because we, in the north. Oh, because you can, you can get the ah, the, uh, the stick, yeah, yeah, or yeah. What do you call it? It's I I know it actually. Can I tell you? I carried the stick as my souvenir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So basically, in the north, yeah, uh, life is there. It's like free there. Okay. And so affordable. Mm -hmm. If 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 you have to buy things say rice and that's like once in a while yeah i remember yeah. in our house back then that was back then when we were like a lot in the house and money wasn't really enough mm -hmm. so would uh, have rice on sundays only ah. so which me means our life was really um so what would you eat mostly and and affordable because we eat of Pap, we call oh, it Oshifima pap. in our language. The brown one, sort of. The, yes. The not Oshu. white one. Yeah. No. 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 If you eat the white one in in in, in the north, yeah. people will think you 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 have poverty in your house. Ah, really? Yeah. They will like. They eat the white pap <laughs> in the house. They, they are poor wow. people, and they will even laugh at you. Back then at school, mm -hmm. they will make fun of you. Those are the poor people. They eat white pap in their house. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, then there is uh, so after the north, where else between here and the coast, which one is more expensive? Um, well, in my past days, when I was in the coast mm -hmm. and Vindu, I feel like um, food in the coast is more expensive compared to Vindu. Yes, uh, of course, life in Vindu is expensive compared to the north life, yeah. but in terms of food, life is much better. In, in Vindu, Vindu compared to the cost. You know, I was expecting because the cost, uh, you you find a lot of seafood. I was expecting it to be like affordable cheaper, and cheap, cheaper. you know. But I found it to be very expensive. Uh, I, I like I've same. enjoyed more seafood in Vindu yeah. than 
I, I, was, the cost. I was like, what? This fish is costing sixty dollars, <laughs> and then in Vindugu, like fifty dollars or something, you can find it on, uh, for forty-five. You can yeah. get it for forty-five dollars. Yeah, that was like, ah, that's yeah. crazy. So okay. I feel like Vinduk life, mm -hmm. it's, it, oh, uh, it, it's expensive, but it's better than Costco life. Cost life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But otherwise, if you want a, a better life, a bit affordable. Mm -hmm. Suggest you go to the, to the north. Yeah, okay. then you enjoy everything. You drink water anytime you want. You can even bath uh, ten times a day. Water is expensive. <laughs> like our house, at our house now. Yeah. yeah. Our my monthly bill. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's just forty dollars. Oh, yeah, that's and, in the north. Yeah, okay. And here in Vinduk, we can even go up to 800 or 1000. Oh, that's a lot, it's a lot, yeah. it's a lot. And so, you oh. see now why I'm saying yeah. life in the north is so free. <laughs> it yeah. has been my pleasure bringing you content from Namibia. Thank you so much for all the support you guys have given to me. I hope this video has given you a perspective on the cost of living in namibia for anyone who is looking to move there or just curious about information about the place let me know if you have any questions about namibia i'll be so glad to give you all the response that is it for today's video always always remember to create time for that which ignites your soul until next time bye for now